indigenous people and listen to their prayers and tell them they're there to support them, support us. And they came in with 550 different denominations of religions from, from the Catholics, the Mormons, the Protestants, there's all kinds of different religions there that came to stand in support of the indigenous people and protecting the water, which a lot of our people in any country did not get to witness. So I want to share that with you, that I got to witness it, and I got to share that. I'm sharing that with you, that we are the answer to our ancestors' prayers, that we are here, and I'm sharing with you that I'm not a protester, I'm a protector. We are protecting oh. the waters. Oh. We are oh. Not only that, the, the guy that I was talking to, the preacher I was talking to, also lifted up his arm and says, I'm, I'm willing to go to jail for what you're standing for. And so they walked to the front lines, and in their way, he says, we're not here to start a riot or any way they were, they were saying it. It's not in our way, that's not why we were sitting here. He says, we came here to pray with you the way you're praying, because you're doing a demonstration of prayer. He says, I heard your videos when you say you're doing a demonstration of prayer. He says, I'm gonna do the same thing, a demonstration of prayer. They did it right there in the front lines. And then they went to Bismarck to go meet with the governor, and he wasn't there. So they went to his home, and they ended up going to jail. So I want to let you know, and I want to give you permission to heal, because now is the time to heal, and that we are healing together. And that those words I want to resonate with all our relatives here that are non-native relatives. This is not just an indigenous issue, this is, an, this is a human issue, this is the water. And so I want to say thank you for your words. And thank you guys in that, in that moment is that it is important for us to heal together. I've heard many stories I can share with you all night about our non-native relatives come in and say, this is a white heal while I'm here. I wanted to come here to participate and stand with you guys and let you know that I am not my ancestors. I am not that Calvary. I am not that, that, that stories that you're reading. But I'm standing here and I want my children to see me standing here on behalf of this generation. Many of our non-native relatives that came there when they got chewed out by elders, one of them pulled me aside and said, excuse me, why is that elder so bad? <laughs> they were not even from this country. And when I shared that with the elder, he said, wow, I didn't even know I was that angry. <laughs> <laughs> and so I got to merge them together and share that we are healing together right now. Now is the time. And that's how important your voice is that we're doing this together. It's so important that we share our story like that because we are protectors and we're protecting each other. We're going to continue to do it. We're role modeling. This generation and the seventh generation, which is the answer to our ancestors' prayers, the prophecies that are happening. And those things are happening in different ways. So I want to say thank you again for coming and thank you for the song. Beautiful to hear those teachings from our elders. And it's important that we continue to share those. And the Bija, the Nishda, good blessings with good spirit, and with tsunami, with good mind, with good words, and with good Oh, thank you.